Breaking news. Brooks Kopka, who once criticized the new Breakaway Live Golf Tour, has reportedly decided to leave the PGA and join the Saudi-funded series. Four-time major winner drops the PGA Tour and is joining the other big-name players like Dustin Johnson, Bryson DeCambu, Patrick Reed, and Phil Mickelson. Brooks was one of the first golfers to criticize the new rival league with only 48 participants, and he is now the most recent PGA Tour player to join the Saudi-funded Live Golf series. So what made him change his mind? Stay tuned as we are going to share with you all the details about Brooks Kopka and why this PGA Tour star decided to join the Saudi-funded Live Golf series. With that being said, let's get started. As time goes on with the list of high-profile players, joining the Live Tour is growing and the PGA Tour is losing frown. And now the Live Golf has hooked another big fish, Brooks Kopka. Many golfers and fans were surprised about his decision as he stated his loyalty to the PGA Tour. Recently at the US Open, he mentioned that he thinks it stinks that you all are casting a dark shadow over the tournament. I have no idea why you guys keep acting that way. You talk about something more as you give it more legs. So now him jumping ship is big news. But before we do, let's get you up to date on how Brooks got to where he is today. Brooks Kopka is an American professional golfer, born on May 3, 1990. He started at Florida State University, where he participated in college golf. And it was at the 2017 US Open in Erin Hills, Wisconsin, that Kopka won his first major title. He was the first golfer to win the back-to-back -back US Opens since Curtis Strange in 1988 and 1989. He successfully defended his title in 2018 at Shinnecock Hills on Long Island. And after winning the 2018 CJ Cup, he rose to the top spot in the official World Golf Ranking in October 2018 and held that position for 47 weeks. For the first time since Tiger Woods in 2000, he won both the US Open and the PGA Championship in 2018. At the 2019 PGA Championship at Bethpage Black, he captured his fourth major. So what changed Brooks' mind and made him decide to join the new tour? As it was in March 2020 that Kopka became the second player after Rory McIlroy to criticize a competing league when he told the Associated Press, I have a hard time believing golf should be only about 48 guys. The proposed competition as distinct from Live Golf, it was dubbed the Premier Golf League, although it continued to be funded by Saudi Arabia's Sovereign Wealth Fund. The concept of 48-man fields with no cuts and a team element was adopted by Greg Norman and Live Golf. And at the time, Kopka even declared, money won't affect my life as the new tour offers massive paydays to lure many big golfers to the tour, indicating that this will not be the case for Brooks. Furthermore, the golf star even told Golf Digest back in 2020, money doesn't matter, it's not something that's important, I just want to be happy. Money's not going to make me happy, I just want to play against the best. So what made him join the tour then? Despite rumors that a few other players were about to sign up, one of them was Abraham Ansa of Mexico the 20th ranked golfer in the world, who won the Australian Open and a World Golf Championship in a playoff last year. Kopkas was not planning on signing. Ansa stated that joining Liv was not a decision he made lightly and that doing so would enable him to give back to the game by promoting its expansion in Mexico. He wrote on Twitter, I never could have anticipated myself in this situation right now. Similar to Dustin Johnson on the initial live list, the news caught most players off guard because Kopka had been so vocal about it. Jordan Spieth claimed that Kopka and other top athletes were there at a corporate outing last week, and they were all in favor of the PGA Tour in this rivalry. Spieth claimed he was one of them. I'm staying with Justin Thomas, and today when we got to, we were both like, wait, what? If he had been a DJ from the beginning, I wouldn't have been shocked, given where we were the previous week. I'm merely surprised. The change occurred as the PGA Tour convened a prayer meeting at the Travelers' Championship, where Commissioner Jay Monaghan discussed the tour's position and plans to alter the season and its events. The PGA Tour intends to go back to a calendar season that would begin in January, and only top 70 players would be qualified for the FedEx Cup playoffs, according to two players present at the conference. Because of the meeting, they talked on the condition of anonymity. But now Brooks Kopka is following in the footsteps of his younger brother, Chase. Chase Kopka is currently the 1,607th ranked player in the world and has already been playing at the Live Golf London event earlier this month. While Kopka's decision to join the Live Golf Invitational Series is hardly surprising given the strong rumors over the last few days, he previously has shared his loyalty to the PGA Tour. 
but recently he blamed the media for placing a black cloud over the US Open as it was focused on the start of the Live Tour. Kopka is said to receive a similar seven-figure deal as the ones received by Mickelson, DeCambo, and Johnson when they decided to join, making Kopka now the second highest ranked player to have joined a league. Even though he said money doesn't matter and money won't affect my life. Do you think money is part of the reason for him joining? Let us know in the comments. Or is it because he wants to play against the best? The timing of the announcement was surprising, as it came right in the middle of a press conference that was held by PGA Tour Commissioner Jay Monaghan. It was during this press conference that the PGA was declaring to fight back as the Live Tour is a major threat and has been successful in stealing some of the big-name golf players. Here they announced to increase the prize purses of eight tournaments. This increase will be with a total of $53.8 million in an effort to fight back. Maybe this is too little and too late. PGA Tour Commissioner J.U. Monaghan said the following on the topic. If this is an arms race, and if the only weapons here are dollar bills, the PGA Tour can't compete. He also called the Live an irrational threat. The PGA Tour, an American institution, can't compete with a foreign monarchy that is spending billions of dollars in an attempt to buy the game of golf. According to the PGA Tour, Kopka withdrew from the Travelers' Championship late on Tuesday night. He did not attend the TPC River Highlands player meeting on Tuesday morning. He is expected to play the second Live Golf event in the United States. The following Live Golf competition begins on June 30th, outside of Portland, Oregon. According to a source briefed on Kopka's choice, he will be able to play on the PGA Tour up until he starts at the Live Golf Tour. Without being permitted to speak on behalf of the Tour, the individual talked on the condition of anonymity. There will inevitably be no room for some of the lesser-known players that participated in the initial tournament outside of London two weeks ago because of this additional step and huge name with his four major championships that were added to the Live Golf Series roster. With Kopka's departure from the PGA, the Live Tour has managed to round up all the PGA Tour villains, including DeCambo, Reed, Sergio Garcia and Ian Poulter, as they all have been considered anti-heroes at some point in their career. Is this making the PGA vs the Live Golf Tour a good vs bad competition? What do you think? Live Golf was supposed to introduce up to four new players, over a dozen names, some of whom have indicated they are not going has been the subject of unending rumors during the US Open. However, Colin Morikawa, a two-time major winner, responded to that by writing on Twitter, To say for the record, once again, you all are completely mistaken. Nothing has changed since I declared in February at Riviera that I intend to remain on the PGA Tour. And what do you think of Brooks Kopka's decision to join the Live Golf Tour? Do you think it's all about the money? Let us know in the comments below. That's the end of this video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.